Who's that guy? Oh, that's your big mouth guy. His guy's name is Goliath. Well, who's going? What do you mean who's going? Well, yeah, he's calling for somebody to come and fight. Well, somebody to, surely, you know, somebody's got to go. Well, we're, we're, we're going to vote on it. <laughs> David said, I'll go. <laughs> yeah, 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 right. They weren't saying that after he slung the stone. Amen. Right. Look at verse 40. We're here in uh, chapter 17. And he took his staff in his hand and chose him five smooth stones out of the brook. And uh, you know this. I'm not going to read the other verse. Here. Verse 40, 41. David went alone to fight this giant while there was an entire army behind him that wouldn't support him. David went to fight the battle alone while an entire army stood back there and thought, Our goose is cooked. This man is going to eat this boy for lunch. And when that's done, we're going to be on the run. You remember one day when a man stood on a hill? Yeah. Amen. Glory. And he said, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? You know something that your God has never done to you, but he did to his own son? Oh, my God. Right. That. What is it that you're so scared of that's bigger than your God? I don't even think David looked at the size of Goliath. I think he knew that no matter what, God could take care of a lion and God could take care of a bear. What is a 10 foot man? David knew when he went out there, he said, you come at me with all your junk and your gods. I come at you in the name of the living God. Amen. Glory to God. And it didn't hit him in the head, and it didn't knock him out. It sank to the soil. Yeah. I love that. I, I don't know, Brother Bible, whether this is true or not, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pretend it is, and since I have a doctor's degree, it's yeah. got to be right. <laughs> Don't you know that when he slanged that, I mean, really, I've never been a, a sling slanger, but they can come out of there pretty fast. But don't you know that God might have just went, watch this. <laughs> Amen. Yeah, yeah. Amen. I just believe God, and I, I really believe God could have just said, I'll just let David do it. I'll just guide it. Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe he just said, I, that, that boy got confidence. He'll do it. Come on, folks. He went out there with a sling and a stone. God had to stand back and go, let the boy do it. He can do it. I know this boy. He can do it. Can he say the same for you? When he looks out in the battlefield and he sees what's going on, can he look at you and say, he can do it. I'm going to guide him. I'll stand back. But I mean, he can do it. He's got the wherewithal to do it. He ain't big. He ain't too smart. But he can do it. Yeah. Amen? Because if it's depending on smarts, where would Nagowski be? <laughs> Aren't you glad it doesn't depend on our intelligence and what God does? All you got to say, report for dude, sir. Amen. Report for dude, sir. He said, son, i got to be reconnaissance kind of this for you. Where, sir? Well, that's pretty tough. Where you want to go, sir? Well, they put those uh, Navy SEALs out there. That guy picked up over that boat. Ooh, what yeah. now? <laughs> Don't mess. Don't mess with us. I wish we still had that fighting tenacity. Yeah. Don't mess with us. <laughs> That Japanese come and dumped all of their steel that we gave them during prior to Civil War. They dumped it back on us Pearl Harbor. So we drove them off of a few places and they kept thinking they were the Imperial Army. And so we just got something a little bit bigger. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. I mean, I believe in that. Yeah. You say, you're a warmonger. No, I just want to be a winner. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just get the bigger bomb. 
Yes, sir. We'll just get the bigger gun. If that ain't good enough, well, why don't you get a bigger gun? But see, that's the way we look at it from the human standpoint. God says, I'll show you how to do this. I'll get a boy with a sling and a stone. God's not interested in your abilities. not interested in your knowledge. He just wants to know, are you willing enough to get out of your seat or do something? Amen. You know he's big enough to get here. Amen. 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 <laughs> Thank you for this time. Amen. Bless these folks. They surely deserve better than what they heard. Encourage Brother Bob and bless his church, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.